Salve, salve pessoal, aqui é o Marcos para mais um vídeo no projeto 365 dias de inglês e hoje eu quero falar um pouco sobre dor. Eu tenho aqui a palavra ache e seu significado em inglês. Aliás, ache é em inglês, dor é em português. Então eu deixei em vermelho aqui, ache, 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 ache. E aqui eu tenho algumas palavras. Head, cabeça. Stomach, bem parecido com português, stomach. Ear, orelhas, ouvidos. Tooth, dente no singular. One, tooth, um dente. Two, teeth, dois dentes ou mais. Back, minhas costas. Então se eu já sei que ache significa dor, e aí eu tenho substantivos para explicar partes do meu corpo, fica fácil de falar. Então se eu estou com headache, dor de cabeça. Stomachache, dor de estômago. Earache, dor de ouvido. Toothache, dor de dente. Backache, dor nas costas. Tá certo? Super simples. Mas aí vocês podem perguntar, ah, mas eu aprendi que pain é dor. Pain é um outro tipo de dor que eu posso explicar em um outro vídeo. Hurt, quando eu estou machucado. Tá, então cada um tem o seu lugar, mas quando eu quero dizer que eu estou com dores em partes do meu corpo, eu utilizo ache, certo? Então gravem este aviso, né? essa, essa dica aí, esse toque, e aí vocês podem ir na internet buscar mais aches. Esses são alguns exemplos, porque o vídeo é curto, como vocês bem sabem. E por falar em vídeo curto, agora eu vou apertar aquele botão que muda magicamente a minha voz para inglês. Hello folks, this is Marcos, one more time in another video, and I brought it here some tips that I was seen on my old notebook, the notebook that I brought with me while I was doing my exchange program in Ireland, and then I brought it back to Brazil, and I have many information, many pieces of English, many good advice that I received from my teachers over there. I have a couple of teachers while I was doing my exchange program at Ibot College, And I would like to share that with you, you know, because I don't want to hold it with me because I really know and I believe that when we share information, when we share knowledge, we are seeing that information one more time and we might help other one and in the same time we might help ourselves as well. So I brought it here and I'm going to share with you the first slide that I have here. The first word is ache, and I was explaining in Portuguese that ache is a sort of pain that I have in parts of my body. In Portuguese it means dor, in English ache. And then I have many aches over here, ache, 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 and down here. And then I have words to explain parts of my body. The first one is head, is this big part. The second one is the stomach, this part here, the place that the food that I eat goes. The next one is ear, I have two ears. And then below I have tooth, one tooth, two teeth, three teeth, okay? And then I have back, it's behind me, part of my body, behind me. This is shoulder. Here, it's back. So, I was explaining that. If I already know that ache, it means a sort of pain, and I know these words, this part of my body, it is easy to connect them. The first one is headache. When I have some sort of pain on my head, the second one is stomach ache, a sort of pain in my stomach. Ear ache, a sort of pain on my ears. The next one, toothache, a sort of pain, my tooth. And backache, a sort of pain on my back. Okay? So, this video is over and I think that it's enough. And I really believe that if you follow my tips, if you get my advices, I really believe that you may improve yourself. Of course that I'm not given classes here. I'm just trying to find out a new way to keep in touch with the English that I have. Because I really achieved some place 
but I really want to improve that and that's important to me you know and somehow I'm ambitious with my English in the future I want to do many things with that I want to read more I want to speak more and better and I'm not going to explain more about that to you because it's secret it's private for now I just want to introduce myself because this video perhaps is the first one that you over there are watching my name is Marcus and it's a pleasure to meet you welcome to my channel I'm just a single guy a simple guy some ordinary guy trying to figure out any way to get together to keep in touch with the English that I I know the English that I want to improve because I want to know more than I know right now and I hope to see you in the future and bye